finally a freaking video, right? Can I get a thank you and a finally? <laughs> um, today I'm doing a tutorial <gasps> and um, I'm gonna be doing Pink's family portrait look. Um, you can use whatever colors that you like. Obviously these aren't the colors that are actually in the music video because I wasn't there when it happened so I don't know what colors she used. But um, I am doing the best that I can to recreate the look. Keep in mind that this video has a lot of special effects on it like video effects so the colors are totally warped so who knows what she used. Um, but this is my best at trying to keep the same color tones and all that stuff so enjoy. For starters, use a base like Bear Study. You can use any kind of paint pot or paint or any kind of shade stick or anything like that. And just put a little bit on your eyelid. Using a clean 252 brush, use a color that looks similar to this. This is the Sweetie Cake palette that came out a long time ago. I'm using Almond Icing. You can also use a color Vex. They look exactly the same except Almond Icing has more pink to it. So just Put almond icing all over your eyelid. Taking a 217 brush, go into Satin Taupe. It is a taupey color. Just get a little bit on your brush, doesn't have to be a lot, and you want to uh, blend it into your crease very, very lightly using very, very light pressure on your brush. Now that you have your crease done, take a 213 brush and go into mulch. It is a very shiny deep brown. Tap the brush, just the tip part, onto mulch and you're going to carve out your crease. Use very very light flick motions so it's easier to blend out and create and um, <clears throat> carve at the same time. Using the same 217 brush, buff it out. Using the same 217 brush after you've done your crease, go back into Satin Taupe and color in the outer corners of your eyes. Using the same 213 pencil, go into Espresso. It's a very, very dark brown. Dab right on top. And you're going to carve out just the outer corners of your eyes. Using the same 213 brush, go in, back into Mulch and you're going to line the under the under eye area. What you want to do in this look is take it to where your eye actually creases. So the best thing to do is just to look up and try to get as close to the lash line as possible and don't be afraid to make this look really messy because you're really supposed to take it all the way down until it creases. Taking a clean 224 brush just buff out the very top part of your eye. Taking the same 217 brush that you've been using, go into a deep color. Typographic is the color I'm using. You can use Carbon, um, you can use Nehru, you can use any deep color. Lightly dab it onto the brush. And work the color on the outer corners of the eyes. Just flicking it upward into the crease and onto the corners of your eyes just so it deepens up the color. This part is optional. I'm adding a little bit more because I have to work today. So you can carve out the crease a little bit more if it's too blended out and you wanted more of a dramatic effect. Go into Espresso and use that same 213 brush and just carve the crease out a little bit more using a little bit more pressure on the brush as well. You can make this look as harsh as you want to or as blended as you want to. I'm My style is everything is really, really just buffed out and blended. So I took a 224 brush and I just buffed everything out. So it just kind of flows easier. Next up, I'm using Black Track Eyeliner. And what you want to do is take your 226 pencil or 266 pencil or brush, 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 brush. I always say pencil. Or use the very, very uh, fine point eyeliner brush and just shape the eye line. Don't really make a cat eye, don't do any weird tricks, just shape it. Now what you wanna do is take a 219 brush, I almost said pencil again, go back into typographic or whatever deep dark color that you're using 
And what you're going to do is you're going to just darken up right here in the corner where your eyeliner ends. Just so it looks like you just have that dark outer corner. Buff it out with 217. Take engraved liner and line the waterline. Curl your lashes. I'm using lingering pencil, but you can use whatever you want to shape your brows. Going back into your 252 brush, go into Vex or whatever color that you're using for your eyelid. I'm actually going to use Vex right now, and I'm going to show you what color it is. This is Vex. You can hardly see the pink shine to it, but it's there. And I'm going to use this on my brow highlight. Just right where the, the brow arches. Plush lash. Then you want to use lashes. Make sure you wait for the adhesive to dry a little bit. And you want to use shorter lashes, shorter and fuller, because if they're too long, it just makes the look completely different. So just try to use just very simple and cute lashes. After you put on your lashes, you want to go over with a little bit more liner just so that you can hide the adhesive um, strip. It helps just camouflage it a little bit better. For blush, try to stick with something a little bit more neutral. Um, I'm using Sincere. It's a little bit more on the peachy side, but I'm going to be using more of a peachy gloss. So I'm going to try to stay with that color. But anything like personal style, um, honor, blush baby, something closer to your skin tone would work just fine. For lip liner, I'm using Creme Sherry. I'm, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but there you go. Oh, it's backwards. Good luck. <laughs> it's like a light orange. In the video, her lip color is pretty peachy. It's kind of like a pinky peach, but like I said, I'm going from over peach tone. So what I've done with my lips is that I've taken the lip liner and I shaded it in my lip um, just lightly. And I'm notorious for mixing lip glosses, and so I'm using two. They're both limited edition, I'm so sorry. The first one I use is Orange Decadence. I have that on, I put it all on my lips and then I just blotted it with just a regular tissue. And now I'm gonna put on Chow Manhattan. This is closer to the color that is in the pink music video. Um, I just love how it is, but I love to mix these two colors together because it's so pretty in real life. All right, this will be the completed look for Pink's Family Portrait music video. Um, this is my recreation. You can make it as different as you'd like to. The lip color is a little bit deeper, but I have to go to work today, so I have to have makeup a little bit more intense for stage. But you can always just change it up. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and I cannot wait to make more videos for you.